Hey guys, Troy here. I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use a free photo bucket account to add images onto the forum. Super easy. First, you got to go to photobucket.com. Next, you're going to sign up for photo bucket. It only takes a couple minutes and is really easy to do. You can click the yellow button and sign up for it with a traditional account by adding your username, password, email address, all that kind of stuff. Or you can sign in using Facebook or Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the Facebook one. Now when you first sign up, I've already gone through this process, it asks you if you want to add it and you say yes to that step. Then this box will pop up and say post on your behalf and I'm going to say skip because I do not want it to do that without my permission. Next you'll come to a box where you'll just add uh, your password and click OK and boom, you're into your account. As you can see, I've already uploaded one image, but I'm going to go ahead and take you through the process of uploading. It's super simple. Once you have logged into your account, you literally just click the upload button right here. Now you can click this box, browse files, and a window will pop up and you can add a file from your computer or you can click and drag a file like I'm going to do here over. What's cool is you can actually click and drag multiple files over and have a ton of files that you put in all at the same time. So I'm going to upload these two files. Now there's going to be a, a nice advertisement here which kind of stinks but uh, you know you can quickly add titles and uh, then you're going to click continue to home all right that's it. Now you can see in our library, there's the image that we started with and the other two are in there as well. Now I'm going to take you through the process of once your images are up onto your photo bucket account, how you get them onto the forum to post. All right, so now I'm going to help you actually get those photos that you upload to your photo bucket account onto the forum and into a post. So once you've uploaded a few images like I have, we're going to go to our library. I'm going to click on my photo bucket desktop app here and the folder that I created. I'm going to show you how to use that in just a little bit. These are the images that I've uploaded from my desktop that I want to put into my post. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this image. Now on the right hand side here you're going to see all these links. You want the image code. So you simply click it and it shows that it's copied. You go back to a post where you want to add a, an image and you can see here this is where the tutorial will live and I'm making the video so it's not there yet. And then in the quick reply you just paste that image. Now I usually just add one space there. I'm going to go back here. You can see I have two tabs open. It makes it real easy. I'm going to go back to my media. I click on this image. I'm going to click on that one. Now that's copied. I'm going to paste that in. Push enter twice. And I'm going to go ahead and put this third one in there. I'm going to copy that and paste that one in. Push quick reply. And now you can see I have added these three images into a post. It's as easy as that. Okay guys, another thing I want to share with you that's a really great feature of PhotoBucket is using their desktop connected application. Now you can see this pie is blue here. I've already connected my desktop. Um, if you have not, you'll just see a little blue connect button like you do here for mobile and Facebook and you click on it and that's going to take you to this link. What you need to do from here is push the download button and download the application.
Once you've installed the program after you've downloaded it, just like any other program, you want to open up your application called Photo Bucket Desktop. This box will appear. What's great about this program is it allows you to assign a folder that will automatically upload any image you put in there up to your Photo Bucket account. So how I've gotten mine here set up, I just pushed the little plus button, went to my desktop, and this is on a Mac, so it might be a little different on your PC, but basically the same thing. I had created a new folder on my desktop called Forum Photos, and then I just pushed open and selected it, and it popped up right here under the Auto Upload tab. So that means anything I put into this folder is going to automatically upload to my Photo Bucket account. This is great news. One thing to note is you can actually select folders that you already have images in by just clicking on the plus button. So you can either add new folders or add existing ones that you already have images in. One thing you probably want to do is go up to your preferences and Photo Bucket desktop. On a Mac it's hitting the Photo Bucket at the top left and clicking preferences. On a PC it's probably file preferences or something like that. You want to make sure this is checked because you want this to be running all the time so no matter when you put files in there they will automatically upload. Once you've done this you can go ahead and add a file right to your folder. So desktop forum folder or forum photos and I'm going to add this image. You can see this image here of uh, the interior of my Jeep and it's going to upload to my photo bucket account. Alright, now when you have uh, given it a few seconds to upload you can go back into your browser where you have your photo bucket account open and you can see if you refresh the page that your new photo will show as the last one you've uploaded. Go down to library and on the left here you'll see this called uh, Photo Bucket Desktop. You want to click that and then you're going to see your folder that you created on your desktop as I created mine forum photos. So now when I click on it you can see that that photo got added in. Now just like every other photo if you click on it you're going to be able to get your image code here on the side to enter into the forum post just like I showed you previously. Thanks for watching and hope you get a lot more photos up on the forums.